Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to Tahitian County. Um, we are back. We are going to finish up our sunflower harvest today. And, uh, get started on some corn. Yield has been okay on our sunflowers. We, uh, I have dumped two full trucks. One of our trucks back there is currently full. And, uh, the other one is... Not quite half full yet. So we're getting a decent amount. It's not the greatest, but it will work. <clears throat> so we'll just have to see how our corn does. Hopefully the corn, I'm hoping that does very well. But, uh... We will just have to see on that one. What I'm hoping for and what will actually happen can be two very different things, so. <clears throat> oh, we're going to start missing again here. Not sure why it does that, but it does. And we managed to get through our sunflower harvest and not burn up our combines, so that's always a win. We're just going to go out of cab Try and take full headers, I guess. <laughs> there goes our auto save. So as mentioned in the previous video about our uh, loan ordeal and machinery, um, once I'm done with harvest, or once we're done with harvest, I guess I should say, uh, and all of this is done for the year, uh, we're going to be doing all of that, uh, dealing, and then also um, dealing with the dealership on trade-ins and or you know selling equipment uh, to try and get all of those numbers figured out and so that'll mean we'll probably end up taking whatever machinery we're going to be getting rid of and we're going to set it all out probably in the grass patch over there by uh, our cow barn there. We'll probably set everything out in that. And then one of uh, the salesmen can come. He can look everything over. Um, they can do their inspections and then throw us their numbers. Uh, what they're thinking anyways for numbers and uh, we can go from there so gonna be a process but we will eventually uh, get there <clears throat> so we're just gonna take this header over and we're going to just drop it in front of the shop and then we're going to um, head over and grab the corn head and start opening that field up and then uh, we'll combine until we fill this thing up then we'll uh, worry about emptying our trucks and getting things moved So 
So we're just gonna throw this thing right here. That'll work. And then let's pull up here. Let's fill some fuel. I don't know if it's pulling out of our tank or our trailer. Pulling out of our trailer, okay. That is perfectly fine. Okay, we got that filled up. Now we'll grab our corn head and we're just gonna leave the header trailer sit and we're going to just go down the back way. We're just gonna take the uh, back road over here, over there. Well, and actually we can cut across the sunflower field as well. I don't like how it does every row individually. That's kind of neat. Hmm, interesting. Now I'm wondering, I'm debating on if I want to see if we can put down uh, windrows of corn stalks, then we could bale it and sell it, but at the same time the, having that chop straw will be nicer because then it gives a better uh, ground for next year's crop. So. I think we're just going to stick with dropping straw, or, you know, just chaff, I should say. Not straw, but letting the chaff go. And I think we're just going to start it up right here and get uh, moving. See here once. Can we? Yeah, screw it. Oh, I should probably pay attention though. I think we are gonna drop. Be a way to make a little extra cash. And if we can make some extra cash, perfect. Or. We'll have to see, it might, I'm not sure if it's scripted into the map or not to work with uh, cattle. So if it is, then we also have extra straw. And that also means that next year we wouldn't have to do oats. We can just do extra corn ground and then we can use the corn stalk bales for our bedding. So we are going to try that with, uh, we're going to keep, well, what we'll do is we'll wait to sell the bales. We'll just haul them off or even leave them sit in the field. I, it really doesn't matter to me. But uh, we're going to give that a shot and see kind of what it does because it it does work then that'll be a good way to like I said um, we can use corn instead of oats for our straw and we are already 60% full almost 60 now so hopefully our corn is going to be pretty good. We should have almost done a bigger field of corn, but like our soybean field should have had that in corn. But we're going to make her work. And if we can't uh, use the corn stock bales for bedding, then we'll sell them and make a little extra cash.
looks like it's putting out a decent sized windrow too so we might get quite a few bales off of it alright that's it that's all she wrote it's all the further that we're gonna get so let's jump over here to our truck so this one here is full so we'll go dump this guy and then take it over to the field <clears throat> and uh, we'll pull it up under the combine so that way it can unload while we come back and empty the other truck and get our auger moved that way we can kind of knock a couple things out in one shot here I don't know that we're going to fill a bin with corn, but we are going to see what happens. We are going to give it a whirl, see how much we can get. I just realized this tractor is not even actually running. That might help. All right, let's jet over to the cornfield here and. Uh, get this thing unloading that combine so our other truck is 61 percent full so still a fairly decent load in that truck yet too now how can we do this I don't think we're gonna be able to fit right there we can but we're gonna have to run corn over so I'm going to try and stay as far away. We made it. We clipped a little bit of corn, but... Alright, let's go get this one dumped, and we'll see what uh, we ended up with for a total. And then we'll get that auger moved, get this truck over to the field we'll keep on rocking this truck's definitely dirty needs a bath Looks like the 4440 is going to have one more big job yet before uh, the end of its season. Before it gets to relax and just feed. So let's go ahead and open this lid up. For this to shut off, and we'll close that lid. Perfect. Oh, forgot that I had the multiplier on. All right. Now let's see here. What did we end with? One thousand five hundred and forty-two point six bushels. So not too bad. Sunflowers are best in March. We got about $79,000 worth, so not too shabby, not too shabby. All right, so let's go ahead. We got to jump in here and disconnect that first. And then, I know this is not at all realistic, but...
in terms of FS, this is... <sighs> Excuse me. Kind of the best way to go about moving these. It's kind of a hassle, but... There's always a way to do it. that we're coming in at in at it straight perfect that should be good there now we'll get this backed up Perfect. All right. Let's get in this truck and get on out of here. Get back over to the corn. For sure next season we are going to have more corn. Either way, whether this corn stock bale idea works or not. But it pays pretty decent. And the yield on it is a lot better, so we're going to kind of give it a whirl next year, putting more in. Alright, let's go combine. Perfect. And we're going to shut that off, because we're going to need a screenshot here in a moment. Windrows are taller than our uh, stubble, so that's a good sign. Either way, it's going to either give us a decent amount of bales for bedding, or it's going to give us a decent amount to sell. Either way, it'll work. half full again good lord we haven't even made it around the field once and we're gonna have a full truck works for me I will not complain about that that is for sure Just gonna go straight across here. Corn is definitely one of the nicer things to uh, combine in game. Just get yourself lined up, come in cab, and follow the row. There's 80%. And 
we're just gonna tab over to the truck and bring the truck to the combine, I think. go we're full okay we need our uh, truck that's down here so we're gonna just keep filling the same one which this will be full so we're already quite full so when we go until we completely fill the combine it's it's full. It does not take long. So we'll pull this under and then we'll tab over to that truck and bring that one over right away so that way we can get the combine fully emptied. These are some decent windrows, so that'll be nice. Oop, too far, way too far. There we go. All right, let's bring this guy over. just going to pull it right behind the other one and we'll back the combine up to it. So we're just about to 90 on that truck. that one. So we got a full truck already. Good lord. We'll be making a few trips with our uh, trucks back to the bin site. Or back to the farm I guess. And we've already got the second truck a quarter of the way full. we go. Well, except we are leaving some. I thought I was over far enough to pick that up, but I guess not.
So we'll have to do one more time around. But I might... I think what we're gonna actually do is we're just gonna shoot straight. Straight on down. Split this right on down the middle. If we can make it all the way down, that is. Since we are already half full. We're going to find out. Yeah, because this puts us right at the end of that waterway. That actually worked out perfect. Wasn't thinking that uh, we'd line up perfect like that. So, that works. I don't know if we're going to make it or not. We should. We're only at 82. It's coming up. close, but we made it. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'll just pull it over here. Off to the side. We'll grab our truck. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up this uh, bigger, or well, this chunk here that we uh, cut out. I'll finish that, and then I'll do that uh, second headland around the other half. And then uh, when we come back tomorrow, we will finish corn harvest. And then... Uh, after that, we'll get some corn stalks bailed up. Yeah, I think that'll work. I think we should be able to finish it then in an episode. Even if we run a little bit long, it, it is what it is. We're going to get it finished no matter what. So, but alrighty folks, that is going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. If you have not done so already, be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. And as always folks, thanks for watching. We'll catch you all in the next one.